Hey, this is John Bush. I wanted to do a quick screencast of some of the localization work I've been working on um, uh, at R-Smart, in which we're now trying to contribute uh, to Sakai for the 2.8 release. Basically, what we've done is we've made a, uh, um, a way for all the resource bundle data, all the localization, you know, name, value, pairs to be backed by a database to provide um, runtime management of that data and to hopefully aid you know, some translation work and uh, maintenance work of some of that stuff. So this is kind of a two-part series. I'm going to show you the front-end tool in and, and this one, and then I'll make another screencast of the back-end stuff. So basically, this is a, an administration tool, so I've placed it on the um, admin workspace here. Um, when you go into it, it'll list, uh, it'll list anything we've modified. So the idea is that all of this message bundle data gets indexed automatically, and then um, you kind of have to you have to search through to find the key you want to modify. There's you know there's thousands of these things. So, like for example, say you know we wanted to um, change this instructional text here. Um, if we just copy that, go back into our tool and search for it, this will search through all the data and find the right property. So here we are in the announcements. Um, there's no custom value yet because we haven't changed it. This is the default value that's coming from the, the property file. So we just edit it, you know, we can just you know, do whatever we want in here. Um, you know, notice um, um, you know, we're just doing this all in English right now. So then if we go back to that tool, you can see right there our changes just you know, right away without having to build or restart or anything are right there. And so now we've got a, a couple things we modified. If you decide you ever want to revert back, um, you know, we don't want this to say uh, for me to poop on anymore. We can just hit revert here, get rid of that. It'll put back the default value. And then when we go back to the tool, So you might have to wait. It's there, these things. Yeah, there it goes. They're cached for 30 seconds. That's kind of configurable. Probably in production, you would want the cache to be much longer, but I have it set kind of short just to show stuff off. Um, all right, so that's pretty much um, most of how you manage things one off. If you want to do like bulk translations, there's a download here. Where you can pick one tool or just the whole thing, download that into a big um, spreadsheet format. And then you know either farm out those translations to different people, and then you come back and upload it. So that's kind of how you would do, um, you know, a whole new language translation. Or um, another good use case for that is if you're doing like some work on a test server, and then you want to move that into a production server, you can just download it, upload it. You could always go right into the database and, and do it all in SQL too. Um, so that's pretty much. Um, Nutshell, just you know, this is just kind of normal uh, stuff. You know, these lists are all sortable and pageable and all of that kind of stuff. Um, all right, so that that's kind of that in a nutshell, and then I'll make another screencast, kind of showing the back end stuff how it works. Thanks.